In August of 2019, Iceland marked the loss of a glacier. A hundred people, including the prime minister, walked up the mountain to hold a ceremony and install a plaque that reads, quote, Ulk is the first Icelandic glacier to lose its status as a glacier. In the next 200 years, all our glaciers are expected to follow the same path. This monument is to acknowledge that we know what is happening. We know what needs to be done. Only you know if we did it. Jesus. I saw this bit of news go by and immediately knew I wanted to write a song about it. This is As It Happens, a show about songwriting in real time. I'm Jonathan Mann. I've been writing a song a day since January 1st of 2009. There are infinite ways to approach writing a song, and you never know how it's going to turn out. This could end up being awesome or, frankly, really terrible. So let's... uh, Let's find out. The first thing I've done is uh, look up about this glacier. What struck me was just sort of how it was this feature of the landscape that many Icelandic people were familiar with. Um, And it made me think about the different mountains um, near where I grew up in Vermont. You could see from my house, you could see this, this mountain called Camel's Hump. It sort of struck me what it would feel like to see Camel's Hump go away. Like one day I look out my window from my childhood home in Vermont and it's just gone. In this case, you know, the mountain is still there. The mountain is called Uk, but the glacier, you know, is a big was this big thing on top of the mountain and now it's just gone the other thing that i found was the trailer for a documentary about the glacier called not oak not okay because oak is spelled okay i'm not sure if this is something that they do throughout the whole movie couldn't find it online i couldn't find where to watch it i don't even know if it's out yet in the trailer they do this this neat thing where the trailer is narrated by the mountain itself they call me orc I'm a mountain. Well, really a volcano. Or at least a a former volcano. Which I really love. And so... So one thing I know that I'm going to do in this song is I'm going to do that to my voice. The song is going to be from the perspective of the mountain. And the only other thing that I know, or that I think I know, my only other idea is... I think it should have banjo in it. I'm not sure why. And I'm also hearing in my head like big, dreamy, very wet guitars. Maybe it's like the melting of the snow. But other than that, I have absolutely no idea where to even begin. I'm gonna start out with just this piano sound. I'm gonna just mess around on the piano. Maybe I should start with some big sweeping guitars. Oh, I forgot that I had my guitar tuned open. That actually is potentially an even better thing. It's tuned to open C, (laughs) which just means that when I strum it, when I just strum it, I'm not touching any of the frets or anything. I'm not making any chords. I like it, I like it, but it's too, I don't know what to do with it. Um, That's cool. So what I'm using right now is just a built-in setting in Logic called Dream Canyon. And um, it has this delay on it. Just for my purposes, I took that delay off. And without that delay, it just sounds... So if I look at what this, what makes up this particular setting, there's a bunch of different effects on it. I'm pretty sure there's an octave thing going on. Oh, there isn't. But let's, let's put an octave on it. So this is just here, the octave. That's the octave sound that I'm sort of adding into this mix. I think it also has a reverb on it, which has been off up until now. I'm gonna change that and make it more like even bigger. Seems appropriate. 
I am going to add some delay back in. So remember, this is the mountain talking. It's like um, the mountain is gonna mourn the loss of its glacier. It's like a breakup song, or it's like the it's like a it's like a mourning song. It's like the the song you'd write if you lost like someone close to you. Watch the season. Watch the season. Maybe this is obvious. Glaciers move, right? And the steeper the mountain, the faster they move. Ok is not a very steep mountain. Its glacier moved awfully slow, which contributed to it being one of the first glaciers to completely disappear. You moved upon my back. You moved upon my back. You moved upon my back. Moved upon my back, back. Moved upon my back, back. In no hurry. There was a thing about how um, the Vikings, when they got to Iceland in the 13th century, they made up all these stories about the different glaciers, and Ok sort of had a very bit part. So, thousands and thousands and thousands of summers, you moved upon my back in no hurry. Together, together, we watched the world. We even showed up. We even showed up in the Viking, in the Viking stories. One thing to remember is that um, we're going to do some trickery in the recording to make my voice be much lower. I think it'll sound cool. So that's the verse. That's a verse. I think there's a pre-chorus is going to say something about them. I know change is the only constant. There's so much I wanted to say. It's a little cheesy, but I think, I think, and I hope because of the context of the song of like who is singing, this mountain singing to this glacier that is no longer there, along with what I'm gonna do to my voice, which will sort of add an extra layer of sort of interestingness and gravitas, I think that I can get away with, with this. And I think it's, I think it's fine, it's direct. I'm feeling it, I think it's good. another verse at least not sure where the banjo is gonna fit in <laughs> probably gonna have some drums this could just be a guitar song let's get the rest of it written first so i'm into this sort of repeating thing thousands and thousands and thousands together 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 the secrets the secrets the secrets that i always keep you until the earth swallows me whole I'm just imagining that like this close relationship that this mountain had with this glacier for I don't know what like you know hundreds of thousands of years or whatever they had all these secrets together they they they, they have some kind of like secret bond I'm thinking like these secrets are what's going to like keep the mountain going despite his longing Ok is going to have to sit there and watch all of his fellow mountain mountains lose their glaciers too what's going to keep him sane during that, what's gonna keep him from despair? Will keep me, will keep me, will keep me from despair. Watching my brothers and sisters cry out, lose. Watching the ice around me disappear. Okay, a lot of times the calculus that I'm making with song a day is I only have so many hours in the day, I have lots of other stuff to do. I obviously want to make the song as good as it can be now, but I have the basic 
structure of the song and I could make it and then a year from now or whenever I can come back to it and if I still like then if I say oh I'm feeling this then I can pick back up the song and see if there's anything else that I want to do to it let's just start recording it thousands and thousands and The next thing I'm gonna do, this is sort of unusual for my order of things, but I honestly think I'm just gonna go ahead and start recording the vocals. And in order to do that, I'm gonna do this trick that I was talking about of um, of making my voice sound lower. So I did this in a previous episode. The thing that I'm doing is I'm messing around with something called very speed, which just means that I can speed up or slow down the entire uh, track. When I do that, I can make it also change the pitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, I'm going to increase the pitch and the speed. This is actually going to get tricky because of where my voice sits. So here's what it sounds like just normally. And I'm going to increase the pitch, which is also going to increase the speed. For semitones... Now this part. I know that change. I'm just gonna try to sing this now. Here we go. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of summers. Okay, so I've sung the first verse, and now we're just gonna call that a test. We're gonna hear how it sounds. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of summers. You moved upon my back in no hurry. So that is exactly what I was after, so I'm very happy that that is working out. Okay, I'm just gonna record it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited about the song. I, I like the way that it sounds. Um, we even showed up in the Viking story. We even showed up in the Viking story. It, it, it needs, it needs, it needs some kind of beat. It might just be like a kick drum? And it might not need, need much more than that, but let's see. Let's try that. I think it maybe comes in when the vocals come in. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of summer. Maybe something else comes in in the chorus. Let's see. Like, honestly, I could bring in something else into that second verse. For you until the earth swallows me whole. So I've added like a little woodblock type thing to the beginning of the second verse. I've added that snare to the chorus. I think it sounded pretty good. I think it's pretty close. I'm, I think I'm gonna forego the banjo. I think, ah, man, I don't know. Maybe banjo's very out of tune. I have to find a way to tune it that makes sense. I don't know where my capo is. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna abandon the banjo. I think it's pretty much done. So let's give it a listen, the full song about the mountain oak and its loss of its glacier. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of summers You moved upon my back in no hurry Together, together, together we watched the world showed up in the Viking stories. I know that change is the only constant, but there's so much I wanted to say to you before.
the secrets, the secrets, the secrets that I'll always keep for you until the earth swallows me whole. Will keep me, will keep me, will keep me from despair. Watching the ice around me disappear. Someday the sun will explode. But there's so much I wanted to do with you before you went. Hello, hi, hey, how's it going? Uh, what a sad story, you know? What, it, just when I saw this story go by about, about the first glacier to disappear in Iceland, it's depressing. I'm really happy with how this song came out. It's the kind of song that I really like to write. Lyrically and sort of emotionally, I find it very resonant. I think I or someone could make a really cool video for it, I feel like. M like maybe something along the lines of that Pixar short about the, the volcanoes in love, except in Iceland. Um, but, uh, yeah, thank you all so much for, uh, your comments and for your nominations. Keep those nominations coming. Again, we are now, uh, I guess four episodes away from me having the last episode of this podcast, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do after that. I'm still, I'm still just not sure. Maybe it'll turn into something else. Like I said, I'd, what I'd really like to do is have other people share their um, processes. Thanks for the nominations you've sent so far and keep those coming. Uh, one other quick note, um, I'm doing like a sort of soft launch of something called Song A Day World. And you can find that at songaday.world. Dot world is a great, do is a great domain <laughs> that I, that I was able to uh, secure. So at songaday.world, what you'll find is a fun and interesting way to explore Song A Day. Song of Day has never really had a home of its own on the web. Mostly it's just lived on YouTube, you know? But but what we've made is really cool, and uh, I'd really love to hear what you think about it, and you can go play with it. Right now, it only has year one of Song of Day to play with, but it's just a way for you to sort of sort through Song of Day based on different attributes, and then hear different song, different similar songs that have those attributes and uh it's really fun to you so songaday.world go check it out i'd love to hear what you think and um so for the song i i give the song an a plus i i'm 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 very much into this song i wrote it back uh, over the summer and i definitely think i will come back to it at some point because I'm, i i really like the way it, it turned out uh but regardless of any of that you know what i say there is always tomorrow. I produce this show by myself in my studio. Hope you like what you heard. If you did, please spare a word or two. Leave me a review. Rating two. 
tell a friend or two I got a Patreon you could do And I'll keep making this podcast for free We live in the attention economy So please come notice me Let's smash the patriarchy And white supremacy too Thanks for listening